Hi, this is the first lecture in the logistic regression lecture series. In this lecture, I'll talk about logistic regression. I'll talk about basically the theory of logistic regression. In the subsequent lectures, I'll be talking about how to build a model uh, in SAS. Um, so I'll be using SAS to build logistic regression uh, model. So this is uh, not a hands-on session. This is purely on the theory. Logistic regression model is otherwise known as logit model. So they are essentially the same. Logistic regression model uses dichotomous variable or binary dependent variable. So uh, that's the main feature of logistic regression model. The dependent variable in logistic model is always binary in nature or we also we call it as dichotomous. It has only two values. What are the situations in which we use uh, logistic regression model? If we want to model for default and non-default. Whether our customer is going to default or it's not going to default. Whether a student is going to pass the exam or fail in the exam. Whether I'll be successful in, in, the, in the examination or, or in my career or I'll be a failure. So whenever we have two values in place, we use logistic regression model. Why can't we use multiple regression model uh, when, when the dependent variable takes only two values? If the dependent variable takes only two values, it's not a continuous dependent variable. Rather, it's a categorical dependent variable. The question that comes to in our, in our mind that why, why can't we use multiple regression model when, when the dependent variable is binary in nature? Well, the following reasons are responsible for that. If, if the dependent variable is binary in nature or categorical in nature, the errors will not be normal. The error will be distributed non normally. And one of the assumptions in uh, OLS estimation in multiple regression is that the error should be distributed normally. So that's a, a violation of the assumption. The other violation is the errors are no more homoscedastic, it's homoscedastic when the dependent variable in a regression model is categorical. So that is another violation of the OLS estimation. If this uh, two important things are violated, it results in the biased estimates and gives invalid standard error and hypothesis test. So the uh, beta naught and the beta uh, slope coefficient and the intercept that we uh, get from our regression model cannot be explained properly or cannot be pro uh, explained with full confidence. There will be a lot of biasness in, in the estimates. We cannot even interpret the t-statistics. So such a model where the dependent variable is binary, we cannot use multiple regression model. We need to use logistic regression. Logistic regression model is different in, from the multiple regression model 
in 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 its way of modeling logistic regression model models for the probability of happening of an event whereas in multiple regression model we don't model for the probability of happening of an event we rather model for increase in increase in the dependent variable because of the increase in the independent variables if you remember from the multiple regression lecture we were modeling for what what if my independent variable increases by one unit so what is going to be the change in my dependent variable because our dependent variable is continuous there on the other hand in logistic regression model we don't actually worry about what is the change in the dependent variable we rather worry what is the change in the probability of happening of a particular event and usually there are two events in logistic model we only have two events so what is the probability that an event is going to happen we model for that so that's the basic change in logistic mod regression model probability of happening an event is is there whereas in multiple regression model uh, nothing such is there it's entirely different we don't model for probability what are the examples probability of surviving after an heart attack probability that a customer will default on loan payment probability that a student will pass the examination how does the model look like what is its mathematical form well you can see on the screen it's the logarithm of p by 1 by p so p is probability of happening of an event and 1 by p is nothing but probability of not happening of that event if you know if you add probability of happening of an event and probability of not happening of an event it adds up to 1 so so one thing is is just the uh, one minus of the other so probability of happening of an event in the numerator and in the denominator probability of not happening of an event is equal to a linear combination of your independent variable so the uh, you can see on your screen when there is only single variable it takes this form if you have multiple independent variables it can take uh, this type of form remember that there is no restriction on the independent variables so independent variables can be anything can be categorical can be continuous nominal anything binary anything so there is no restriction on the independent variable. when you when you work upon this equation the first equation on the screen and you take the logarithm to the right hand side of the equation it becomes the exponential of that uh, you know the linear linear uh, value a plus bx right and then if you further do it further you know do some work around you will see that probability is equal to exponential of a plus bx by 1 plus exponential of a plus bx so finally what is our objective our objective is to find out what is the value of p and in this equation the last equation on the screen you can see the value of p can be found out by using the right hand side of the equation using the last equation we can also plot what we call it as logistic curve So this is how the logistic curve looks like in the y axis you have probability of happening of an event as you know probability can always lie between uh, 0 and 1 it always lies between 0 and 1 that's why the y axis as you can see 
has an upper limit of 1 and lower limit of 0. In the x axis, you have the value of the independent variable. There is no restriction on the value of the independent variable. It can range from minus infinity to plus infinity. Logistic model in short is known as LR model in the industry. The uh, estimation of the model happen through maximum likelihood method. Maximum likelihood method is an iterative way of estimating your uh, coefficients, model coefficients. This is a popular method in which you do not have a close from solution. In multiple regression model, the OLS estimation was used. OLS estimation is used because in that kind of a model you have a close from solution or a perfect solution. Whereas in logistic regression model, we do not have a close from solution and that's the reason why we use maximum likelihood estimation method. The details about maximum likelihood estimation is covered in another lecture. There is a separate lecture devoted for that. You can look at it. How about the R square? Do we have R square kind of a thing in logistic regression model? Well, we have something known as pseudo R square, but that is not a very popular uh, model statistics in, in a logistic regression. Instead, the model fitness is measured through concordance index and K statistics. So, what are concordance index and K statistics? The details are covered in separate videos on concordance index and k statistics so the details how to compute them what is the mathematics how do we how do we get it from uh, from the sas uh, what procs to be used all that is covered in a separate video how do you check for whether whether the coefficient or the model coefficient model estimates are significant or not. We do not have T statistic in logistic regression. Instead, we have chi-square statistics. T statistic can only be used if your error is normally distributed. Since the error is not normally distributed in logistic regression, hence we use chi-square statistic instead of T statistics. The question arises, what if there is more than two categories in the dependent variable? How do we model it? Because if the dependent variable has more than two categories, we still can't use multiple regression model. We cannot. So how do we model such, such, uh, such a scenario or such events where we have more than two outcomes? We can extend the logistic regression model to uh, accommodate for multiple or more than two categories uh, of uh, in a dependent variable. If the multiple categories are nominal in nature, we use what we call it as multi multinomial logistic regression. If the categories can be ordered in some way from in the ascending order, in the descending order, if the categories can be ordered in that fashion, then we use ordered logistic regression model. To summarize, logistic regression models are basically used to model for binary data, 
if your dependent variable is binary in nature, it has only two values, we use logistic regression model. We generally model for probability of happening of an event using logistic regression and that's very important because in industry we always want to know what is the probability that, probability that an event is going to happen, whether a, a customer is going to come back to us or not, whether a customer will like our product or not, whether a customer is going to default on, its, on, on his account or not, whether a customer is going to be loyal to us or not. So we always want to know what is the probability or what are the chances that something is going to happen. Like you know a bank would like to know whether next year there will be a financial crisis or not. So um, logistic regression model is very popular in the industry. It's pretty much used in every industry. And it's a very simple model, but very powerful model, and uh, is is an important model to learn uh, for anyone who wants to build his career in analytics. Thanks.